According to North Korean state media, leader Kim Jong-un has said that his country has completed the development of its first military spy satellite and ordered officials to proceed with the planned launch. Kim, who was visiting the country's National Aerospace Development Administration, said that developing reconnaissance capabilities was a priority to counter threats from the United States and South Korea and that several satellites were necessary to firmly establish an intelligence gathering capability, the state's KCN News Agency reported on Wednesday. Wednesday. An explosion has jolted Sudan's capital Khartoum. This happened on the fourth day of the ongoing clashes in the country that killed nearly 200. Sudan is witnessing a power struggle between the forces of two generals who seized power in a 2021 coup. One side constitutes an army chief named Abdel Fattah Al Burhan and his deputy, the other is named Mohammed Hamdan Daglo, commonly known as Hamidi. He commands the paramilitary rapid support forces or RSF. Both generals believe themselves to be saviors of Sudan and guardians of democracy. It is important to note that the blast took place despite reports of a ceasefire. China is increasing its Antarctic footprint according to new satellite imagery collected by a Washington-based think tank that shows construction has resumed for the first time since 2018 on the country's fifth station in the southern polar region. Beijing has sought to develop new shipping routes in the Arctic and expand its research in Antarctica, but Western governments worry its increasing presence in the polar regions could provide the People's Liberation Army or PLA with better surveillance capabilities. According to media reports, an anti-terrorism court in Pakistan has sent a Chinese national to jail on a 14-day judicial remand on blasphemy charges in the restive Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province after he was arrested on Monday. The police arrested the Chinese national identified as Tian on Sunday and on Monday he was shifted to Abutabad via an army helicopter due to security concerns as the police feared local people could harm him. <laughs> 